how are we? I'm doing just fine. <laughs> it's like midnight. Dude, I know, we started getting ready at like eight. I don't know why everyone just wants you to do truth or drink videos lately, but it's just okay. fun. I feel like this is going to end up just being us drunk answering questions rather than truth or drink. I know. We're both very open people. <laughs> we'll talk about anything, so. I know. We're just yeah. going to go on tangents again. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's get into it. Let's get into <laughs> it, ladies, shall we? I'm sorry to interrupt your viewing experience. Thank you so much, ExpressVPN, for sponsoring today's video. Sending data over an unencrypted internet connection is like sending a postcard. Your message is wide open for the mailman and for any nosy people that just want to see what you're sending. Scary, not down. Whenever you are connected to ExpressVPN, every piece of data that's going in and out of your device goes through a secure encrypted tunnel that no one can see. Not by the government, not by hackers, not by your internet service provider, and not even ExpressVPN. And this is why I personally always use ExpressVPN. I want my private info to remain private. All you have to do is open it up and click connect to connect. Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash sarabasca. Or just click that little link in the description box below. Come on, y'all. But that's not all. ExpressVPN also gives you unrestricted access to all parts of the internet. So many things on any streaming service like Netflix, Hulu, just by changing which country you're connected from. One of the best movies and one of my favorites is Crazy Rich Asian and you can't watch that on United States Netflix. So what do I do if I wanna watch that flick? I go onto ExpressVPN and I change my location to Britain. Vibes. I am British for the night. Just so I can watch Crazy Rich Asians. So make sure that your privacy is protected and even unlock some new content by using ExpressVPN. Just click that link in the description box below. Thank you ExpressVPN. Let's get back into the video. Should I hear? Sure. Oh my god, get that. Oh. I look like a ghost. Bitch, I'm a ghost. What's that song? Yeah, yeah. Then Bitch, I'm I a do the most. Little honey. There's so much TikTok drama right now. I, on my live earlier, people kept talking to me about it, and I'm like, I don't know. Our boy Jaden is fucking up. He's fucking up. He's fucking up. What'd he do? Really quick. I'm gonna put it in my fast motion. Okay. Basically, <laughs> he was dating this girl named Mads Lewis. Okay. They were together for like a few years, on and off. Josh Richards, he was dating Nessa. Lil and Shardy. Lil <laughs> Shardy. <laughs> yeah. I know yeah, Lil Shardy. Lil Shardy. I know who Lil Shardy is. <laughs> You're keeping up to date. <laughs> Oh my god, that's <laughs> like you was nasty. Ugh, I can smell. Oh my god, it stinks. And so Josh was dating Shardy. And <laughs> <laughs> listen, Josh and Jaden, bros. Okay, bros for life. Bros broskies, bro. Okay. Jaden does music. Yes. Great music. Comatose. I love comatose. Comatose. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> NASA. They have a song together. I saw the music video. Lottie Die. Lottie Die. Great. It was a good song. I just liked his part so much more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Basically, they do Lottie Die together, and everyone's kind of like, oh, do they have a thing? And then they both be like, no, we're like in relationships, we're just homies. Okay. Josh is kind of like skeptical about it. Jaden's my boy. He would never do that to me. Mads, aka Jaden's girlfriend, went on a Call Her Daddy podcast today. And today. She, today. And she was like sobbing the entire podcast because Jaden like admitted to her that he liked Nessa all along. And he like actually, and they do have feelings for each other. And she had that gut feeling the entire time they were doing Lottie Die together. She had that gut feeling. Like, does that to you? When you collab with another artist, it's really hard to kind of like cut that off. A lot of people can, but like it's such a vulnerable moment. But they're like new artists, like they don't know. And they're young, they're like yeah. 18, 19. Or I don't even, I feel like isn't Lil Shardy like <laughs> 17? Yeah, I think Jaden's hey, like Siri, how old is little Shardy? <laughs> Shardy age? What's her name, Nessa? <laughs> Lil Shardy's actually a cool name for an artist. Dude, honestly, she should have taken that name by the balls Ran and been like, it. Lil Shardy. Little Shardy. Li little tiny, <laughs> tiny little Shardy. Okay, she's 18. Okay. Oh, and get this bitch. I'm listening. Get this bitch. Lil Shardy, Matt Lewis, we're best. Friends. Yes. Okay. 
Okay. And they lived together. <gasps> and they were roommates. That would be like, you can't backstab a roommate. If you were dating a musician, and me and the musician collabed, and then we started like having a thing behind your back, and then you found out. I would cry in a podcast too. Yep. I would absolutely start sobbing in a podcast as well. Yep, so that shit's going down. Poor Josh Richards. He's just like, what the fuck is happening? Not Joshy. <laughs> but I'm like, oh my god, it's literally just high school drama being amplified with each kid having millions of followers. That is... I am so glad I'm not a teenager. Same. <laughs> I'm so glad that the internet and technology grew with us, mm -hmm. other than like, it just being us. there. <laughs> Yeah, we're against you. Like, imagine being 16 and having the social media. No, I'd literally die. No! And like, the filters and yeah. the fucking Facetune and like, all that shit. I could not. Yeah, like, Facetune. Two hours later. Okay, so we're finally gonna get into the questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, what is the most embarrassing thing that you've witnessed me do? Honestly, like, nothing. I'm not that crazy. Well, like, you do, you are though. It's just because I have such a good understanding of what's going on in your head. Like, I get it. Oh, you know what? <laughs> yep, I know exactly. On your birthday, she was on the floor in a stall at a club watching the interview that Liza had recently done with Harry. Liza Koshy at the Met Gala. Yeah. What does camp mean to you? How would you define camp? Um, no judgment and... On the ground, sobbing about it. Cause she's like, Liza's like a homie. She's <laughs> over here. Head on the toilet. I was like, about to puke. Yeah, you were literally crying so hard you were about to puke. To the point where a security guard comes in and he's like, y'all have to leave. And I was like, no, 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 she's not crying because she's super drunk. She's crying because of Harry Styles. I promise she would do this if she was sober. I grabbed my phone and I was like, Liza. Like, security um, looks at you and he's like, he literally was like, what? damn, she really is crying about Harry Styles. And like walks away from us. It's not embarrassing because I get it. That's why it was hard for me to think of something. Yeah. Like, I always understand where you're coming from. <laughs> and I feel like it's the same way. Oh yeah, for is there, sure. Well, we'll just flip the question on me. What's the most like embarrassing thing you've ever seen me do? <laughs> Uh, I know, but I'm not, I don't want to say it. Wait, now I'm going to be insecure. You have to say it. <laughs> what? It was the first time you met your crush. <laughs> we This is the most embarrassing thing that I have ever done. <laughs> Wait, blank fucking period. There was this guy. We met up with him for the first time. She was so nervous. So nervous. We met up at this like underground hole on the wall. Rave, I guess. And we show up and she was like, oh my God, he said that he's here. I don't know where he is. Because she was so anxious, she just kept drinking more and more. I was with Will at the time and I felt like me and Will were kind of like your parental guardians that night because we were watching our daughter seeing her crush for the first time. We we're like, okay, she's just nervous. And then we finally see him in the crowd. Y'all met at the bar and me and Will look over and we see y'all talking and me and Will literally like this, like teen girls. We were like, oh my God. <laughs> I met him through Tinder and this was the first time I was ever meeting a Tinder guy. It was a huge deal for her. The night goes on and then we go to the dance floor and like the guy and his friends follow us, but kind of in the background. So embarrassing. And then you know, Christelle, I think, had like a lot of nerves and going on. And I was on. drunk as fuck. Yeah, like, continue. And oh my god. Basically, all I had was so nervous. Just like looking over and <laughs> Christelle, there's like a rail on the side. No. She goes up to the rail and she's just fucking. She's like, the head. only one. Which was amazing, but also her crush was just kind of in the background. <laughs> it was like so first time that y'all were meeting, so he didn't know if y'all were gonna be talking throughout it or whatever. I joined you because yeah. I was like, I got you. That wasn't embarrassing because I joined you and I was like trying to make you, you know, but then I think I'm that so she changed. got, she got more drunk and then all I remember is her ass just being in the air. Bye. For like Bye. 45 minutes. 
But then remember, I was headbanging so hard that I would get dizzy yeah. and I would fall. Yeah, you would fall. Over. I would fall. You would fall. The over. next day, I had to call out of work because I couldn't walk because of how hard I was headbanging. You were having so much fun. <laughs> Your crush would be like, yeah, she loves this shit, but then you would fall, and me and Will would be like, all right, girly, we would get you up yeah. real quick. Yeah. I would be on the ground before I even knew I was on the ground, y'all would be like, <laughs> me and Will were like, all right. Okay. And then I would look back at your crush, I'd be like, she's good. <laughs> she's good, he's like, ah. <laughs> and then I would even be behind you, like, yeah, and then he'd fall over, and then we'd be like, all right, she's back up. <laughs> constant like it was just you being so nervous and, and drunk so, yeah. and excited but yeah really embarrassing first interaction me and him are really good friends now most famous people in your dms mm. i don't know if you want to say do you know bitch <gasps> It is cool, but like, I don't know. It was a year and a half ago, and it was Thundercat. That was wild. I remember you coming into my room and being like, what do I do? And I was like, girl. It was only because I saw him at Walgreens. Because we go to the same Walgreens, we were in the same line for the pharmacy. We were like both in line for our medication. And I recognized him, and then I tweeted at him afterwards. And I was like, did I just see you in the Walgreens pharmacy? And then he responded to me and he was like, why didn't you say hi? And I was like, first of all, I look like shit. I just roll out of bed. Second of all, you're one of my favorite musicians of all time. I, didn't, I wasn't sure, because I was also looking at the back of your head. Yeah. Like, I didn't know 100%. And then we were just DMing for a minute. It got nowhere. Obviously, I was in a relationship at the time. Yeah, as soon as like, he started flirting, you were like, I can't do this. This isn't it. Then we, like, try to become friends. But I haven't talked to him since. But he was being really respectful. He's a really respectful, cool person. That was, like, the first cool person to ever talk to me I guess like a musician that I respect yeah it was like, a very respectful conversation it was cool it was as nice. soon as you were like nah he was like ah oh, totally. he was like yeah I was like nah he's like uh and I'm like yeah, yeah. I thought that I was gonna be like, uh, I'm in a relationship. Right when I would say that, he would unfollow me, but he still follows me. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, I'll take a shot. Take a shot. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. I'll wrap it hold on, hold on, start over. <laughs> Y'all gon' make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. Y'all gon' make me go on my up in here. I'm gonna be really drunk after that. All right, PDMX. This is fun. 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 Do you toot or fart? <laughs> <laughs> Frequencies. Oh, this weirdest conversation you've had after a hookup. Um, okay. I have one. Okay. We were listening to Childish Gambino. Okay. <laughs> While we were hooking up. And then I really wanted to show him the uh, feels <laughs> no. like summer music that videos. Is so As I was hooking up with him, I was like, have you seen the new Childish Gambino music video? He was like, no, I haven't. <laughs> As we were like hooking up and I was like, can I just show it to you? And he was like, really? Do we like have to, you know? And I'm like, it's just so good. <laughs> the moment was killed, obviously. And then I was like, okay, I roll And the rest, over. like the rest of the time y'all are hooking up, you're like, I'm waiting to watch this music video. He's just laying there with a like, boner. He's dude. like, yeah, you can show me. I'm like on my back, I'm like on YouTube, and I'm like, okay, so this music, you're holding this. the music video like this, and he's like going in, you're yeah. like, like, like artist. a missionary, just like, do you see this? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. So Childish Gambino is just like gliding through the music industry, just trying to like look around him and notice that like he's different, and he sees it all. Okay, do you see Drake coming in? You see Chris Brown crying in the corner? Fucked up, but he's still really talented. Yeah, sure. Oh. You see how Childish Gambino is just the 
gliding through all of the chaos. Because that's how he feels. <laughs> yeah. He feels like he's just gliding through all of the chaos. It's not my fault. <laughs> and he chooses, and I'm like, okay, oh. let's um go home. Yeah. <laughs> Also, the question said after a hookup. This was <laughs> It was like the end of yeah, one. Um, so this was a question for Sarah, but I also kind of want to answer yeah. this. So it was with my ex and this was before we started dating and we were hooking up. Mm -hmm. okay. We were like hooking up under this blanket that was the shape and like had a photo dollar. like of a dollar. Uh, and it could have been a hundred dollar bill. I don't know, but yeah. I just remember it being money. At the time, I thought sex was like, oh, when the guy finishes, the sex is over. Oh, like, yeah. Women are supposed to I just them? He finished and was on top of me. He like looked at me and he's like, it's so funny. Like I have had sex with this blanket so many times. You're like a cum dumpster. Cum dumpster. Cum dumpster. What is wrong with you? Dude? No. Dude? No. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. He said you're like a cum dumpster? He literally said that to me and I was so in love with him at the time. Dude? I love you. I laughed it off. I just literally laughed it off. The disrespect. It, the disrespect. It's yeah. not funny, especially but like after it kind of come. is. It. No, no, no. But like it kind of is. Like that is. Like it would. Okay. I know. <laughs> I have a good sense of humor. I'm gaslighting myself. You are gaslight. It's the misogyny, bitch. It's built inside of us. Anyway, come dumb. He said start. that to me. He's calling you trash. Exactly, dude. When he said that to me, I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, that was so mean. And I was like laughing about it. And I remember we like went to sleep after that. I like turned around and he was like the big spoon. And I just cried mm -hmm. and cried and cried. Mm -hmm. And he didn't know that I was like so hurt by that. And I remember that night thinking I should get up and never come back. Mm -hmm. Because that was so disrespectful and mean. But that was the most awkward conversation I've mm -hmm. ever had with someone after a hookup. What do they expect you to say or think? If they don't look at you as an item or an actual like cum dumpster, do they not expect you to say anything after that? Oh no, hi, I'm a person. Get the fuck out of your bed. <laughs> if you had to save Harry or Sarah from a dying, miserable, lonely death, who are you saving? I don't fucking know Harry. I don't know him. Girl, if you saw me and Harry both sinking and you had one rope. Dude, you. I don't know him. I like love him to death. But he's like, Christelle, Christelle, please, please, save me. You remember Golden? But then I'd be like, but Sarah, you helped me clean my depression room a million times. That like is so sweet. I'd be like, I saved my bestie, like my sister. <laughs> and also I'm like, bitch, we gotta pay rent. Yeah, I'd be like, you're the one paying the other half. What are you gonna do without me? Like, literally. Say we're like on the top of a volcano and they're like, Volcano. Volcano. A volcano. A volcano. They're like, okay, I'm gonna push one person in. You have to choose who. Okay. I would be like, I'm saving Sarah. Cause like, yeah, you would be like, but Harry. <laughs> You'd be like, and, and like, Harry's like, ball, ball, ball. You can make him awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I like respond to my horrible British accent. Be like, but at the end of, at the end of the day, at the end of the at day, the end of the day. I don't fucking know you. And then I'm in the background. I'm like, yeah. You're like, I'm not dying. I'm not dying. I'm dying. Cool. I look like, what I've done for you, babe. You didn't pay any fucking bills for me. I've given you all of my money. Do you not fucking remember? At least Sarah's there for me when I cry. I've yeah. never met Harry in my life before, but that one conversation would be like, I've gotten what I've needed. <laughs> this is a horrible situation and it's I love hard. you, but that's my bestie. Go bitch, go bestie. Exactly, and I'd be like, can I get a hug first? <laughs> from Harry. Yeah. Before but, I push no, you. But, yeah. Because 
there's a there's a boss there's a big guy like someone above us the devil perhaps being like you can save one and you're like okay satan satan's looking down at us waiting for you to push him in and then you're like harry i'm gonna push you in but just one last hug satan's like that's okay can we make me. it a three-way hug satan's like can i join i'm like no no satan. not not you satan but that's when i fucking manipulative brain comes in and i go like this to all the three of us and i fling us off of the fall period i'll save rolling like a tumbleweed yeah and yep. we start running yeah we start running towards the woods and it's me you and harry fighting for survival naked survival. naked <laughs> Naked and scared in the middle of the <laughs> Naked world. and afraid. Naked and afraid. There's a camera crew. And if, it's a naked and if afraid. that's how I live the rest of my life, so be it. We escape Satan and then there's those crossroads. We're all naked. And Harry's like, thanks so much for saving my life. His manager slides <laughs> in. He just gets in the van, never talks to us again. Whatever. At the end of the day, I don't know who the fuck Harry is. Who is Harry? I don't know. Dude, that freaks me out every single day. Like, what is he doing right now? Like, literally at this moment. What does Christelle do, like, work-wise? So, I... So... I am a Uber driver. She's always on my location because... We're women. We're women, and I've had a lot of weird experiences. Also, <gasps> can you explain some? Are we taking a shot? Should yes! Should we just do it for fun? Okay. okay. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Should we just do it for fun? I have the hiccups. One, two, three. That's so gross. Um, so I'm an Uber driver. That's what I do as my job. People think that I make money via my Instagram or TikTok or whatever. I don't. I'm an Uber driver and Bumble. I- Bumble. Bumble that one time. I had one sponsorship from Bumble. I picked up this guy at this really nice, it could have been a hotel, could have been an apartment complex. He gets in my car, so normal, <laughs> so chill. So normal, so chill. He's like, how's your day? Da, da, da. We're talking. The conversation dies out. He's on his phone. Literally, as soon as we're done talking, I'm not even kidding, 20 seconds later, I just hear <laughs> in the back of my car and I was like oh my god like we were just talking <laughs> I genuinely thought like oh my god this man has narcolepsy like that's so sad right I didn't want to touch him to like wake him up he's in the back but like if I got to the destination I didn't want to like touch oh, him and be like wake up I thought you, know? you meant like during the drive like hello no, no, we're no. talking no no <laughs> While we were at a stoplight, I hit my brakes harder than I usually would, trying to wake him up. And I'm like, oh my god, this man is not waking up. So I like turn and I like look at him. He is has his phone on his lap, and it's a picture of him going like this with his knees on a bed. He's naked. It's his balls, dick, and ass. Wait, going like what? Like this, but naked. <laughs> and I saw, and his face was in the picture, so I knew it was him. He's like sitting wide, and his phone's like this, and he's like <gasps> dead asleep. He's like this. <gasps> but on his phone is a picture of him. Like, like this. Ball out. And I was like, oh my god i couldn't believe what was in front of my eyes then we get to his destination and i was like this man needs to wake up and when i stop at his destination at this point i had braked hard enough so many times where i was like i'm gonna slam on my brakes yep i slam on my brakes he still doesn't fucking wake up but and at this point i'm dropping him off at some sketchy fucking neighborhood in compton i like lived in compton for three years with my dad so like i you know, know the areas he was a man and like whatever right i was really uncomfortable so i get out of my car and i open the door and he falls out of my car and that finally wakes him up like he his body was like he fell out of your car. Yeah. I hear a voice coming from a car that's parked on the street going, his friend will be out in a second. Just wait for his friend. And I'm like, I'm not waiting for 
anybody's fucking friend That's right now. That's terrifying. Like, I'm, who is this person talking to me from outside in their car? And I'm like, get out of my car. Like, get out of my car. And he was like, oh, sorry, sorry. And he like gets his shit and like gets out of my car. And as I'm driving away, I have obviously my Bluetooth connected to my phone. And you just hear the FaceTime like, bring, bring. And it's me calling Sarah. And I'm like driving away. I'm so freaked out because I thought this man had narcolepsy. And then Sarah was like, no, dude, that guy was on a Xan. <laughs> that man was on some drugs. <laughs> when you're on Xanax, first of all, you get really fucking tired. Didn't you say like while you were talking to him, he was being really slow and like, yeah, he, he was, was like he very was talking chill. really very chill mid combo. He's asleep, but it was you just saw like him exposed, like full on exposed. But whole... And I've never been around people who have done Xanax, so like I don't know what that is. I love that. Bird. So I literally was like, this man has narcolepsy. <laughs> Next question, but this one's fucking crazy. Truth. Dear. I think we should drink to that. Dude, I can't. I literally can't handle that question at Dude, all. Dude, that's like crossing like, the boundary. Yeah, like, could you guys respect our privacy, please? Disappointed. The fuck? Drinking to that. Who said that? Fucking. Who said that? <laughs> By Nithia underscore. Fucking dumbass. Nosy bitch. <laughs> Did you hear that noise? I did. What was that? I don't know, but I get it because that question was repulsive. That was Briviana. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? I don't know. <laughs> Briviana? Briva? Uh, ben Benita? Ben Benito! 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 It's Benito's Instagram account. We go outside, Benito was just on a phone. He his little claws. <laughs> he like has his face ID on my iPad to get in. <laughs> he holds it and he's like, <laughs> All right, Benito. Fucking Benito, Whatever. bro. What is the weirdest name you've ever moaned? Uh, like during sex, obviously. Not just when you're hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sony. Joan Cook. <laughs> okay, expose me, bitch. The fuck? My ex boyfriend, his name is Mike, and I used to be roommates with him and Mikey. Oh, bitch, don't even say. And her. Dude. <laughs> and I accidentally said Mikey. No, you did not. Oh! Mike and Mikey, like it was, I fucked up. I've never looked Mikey. Like, but I didn't like go Mikey. Like I didn't moan, but I like, Mikey. but I called Mikey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't like moan his name, but I was like, Mikey. Ah, what? What? Is that? No. Mikey. Well, you know, bitch. Mikey. Oh my god. Yeah, I did. Okay. I was like, you know, I don't look at Mikey like that at all. Mikey is my brother. Oh no. As you're riding him. Well, he I'm like sorry. he also like, <laughs> Mikey's like my brother, bro. <laughs> Mikey. It was bad. It was one time. Were you thinking about Mikey? No, I wasn't. Like, yeah. I just it just came out because like I'm so used to like saying Mike and Mikey and yeah. it just like I fucked it up. All Thank right. you guys. Okay, wait. We, one, two, three. Thank, Thank you, you guys. guys. <laughs> We're both fucked up. We appreciate you guys watching and listening and yeah. loving and learning and vibing. Yeah, love y'all. We love Pitbull here. He, he <laughs> there agrees. He is. He um, said, yeah. Make sure you follow Crystal on TikTok. She's got some flames. Flames. <laughs> flames. Her TikToks are popping off. I. Okay. They're good. <laughs> uh, Go follow her on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. I have the same username on all of them. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Love you. Love you so much. I'm gonna tell you that I love you 100 times a day. You'll get tired of my voice. That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I'm missing.